Hi, Blake with Boulevard Home. Today, we're gonna to talk about seven things to look for when you're buying a washing machine. And we've done a video on what's the best out there. So, you know, this really isn't that type of video. It's more of what you should be looking for when you're buying it. If you wanna know what my opinion is for the best being out there, you can look back on our other videos and definitely find it in there because it gives you a lot of good information on my opinion on what's the best out there. So now let's talk about features you'd be looking for within your washing machine if you're in the market to buy one. One of the key things uh, that I feel that you should be looking for when you're looking for a washing machine is does it have the cycles that I like? That is probably one of the biggest keys because not everybody uses all the cycles you like, but there are certain cycles that you do like and you wanna make sure that this machine has it. You know, and there are machines such as your LGs that have a cycle on it that says downloaded. So when you look at it, you say, well, what's the cycle that says downloaded? Now that's, you know, a feature that they have on there, but you have to download the LG app that goes with the wash machine and hook your wash machine up. And it gives you the ability to choose more cycles than what are actually available on the machine. So when you go to the downloaded cycle, it's there. So that's one of the key things is to make sure that it does have the cycles that you want. Another key thing, and you're gonna laugh, you're gonna say this is kind of really dumb, and but it's not a funny thing because I have a lot of people complain about this all the time. Make sure you can reach the bottom of the, your top load washing machine because these new ones are really deep. And so if you're height challenged at all, people tell me all the time, I gotta have this puller to reach in there to pull the stuff out or I've gotta lean way over my machine or I've got teenagers that are kind of short and I gotta, they've gotta almost crawl in the machine to get their stuff at the bottom. So one thing you wanna take into consideration is depth, how deep it is. Can you reach it? Is it going to work for you uh, in a top load machine? Other things you wanna look for within a machine are the automatic soap dispensers. Those are the best. You know, the ones you just put your soap in, uh, you tell the machine, you know, to auto select it and it will dispense the soap as needed because it saves the hassle of over sudsing your stuff and your kids putting too much uh, soap in the machine or you accidentally putting too much soap in your machine. It will do it for you. That is actually a great feature that you want to look for uh, in your wash machine because, you know, it's really handy and it's real great when it comes to that. Other things you want to look for uh, in a front load washer. I know we're talking about both wash machines, uh, front and top. so. Bear with me on front load wash machines. Look for a machine that has a vent type system like the GEs do. Uh, the GEs have like an automatic vent. So at the end of the cycle, you can select the ultra vent. And what it does is it opens up a vent and lets the air come out of the machine. So it vents so you don't get those odors and stuff in your machine. You don't have to leave the doors open. That's a great feature. But that's something other manufacturers have similar things to it. But that is that is a great feature you want to look at uh, within your washing machine. Another one of my recommendations is if you're looking for a top load machine, make sure the machine has a deep wash because that is an important cycle to have. I know we talked about cycles before, we have more than you want, but this is like an important cycle. You have to have an ambient machine. If you can't download it and you don't know if you can download it and the machine doesn't say a deep wash or have a deep rinse or something like that, you need to make sure you have it on the wash machine because to be honest with you, the top load machines really don't fill up with enough water to really get your whites really white. You have to have more water in there to be able to flow through the whites to get your whites that nice bright white that you want instead of that dingy white. So if you have a machine that's just low capacity, even though it's a top load, you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that it has a deep fill because that is way important to have on it. Another big factor, noise. And you're gonna say, well, how am I supposed to determine that when I go into the showroom? You're gonna say, it's not running, I can't hear it in my room. Well, you know your laundry room and you know what it's like in your laundry room. You know if it's echoey, if it's not echoey. You know what, where it's located in your house. Is it close to uh, the front room or close to your bedroom? And when it's running, you, can you hear it in your bedroom? You wanna look for noise because machines have all different noises to them and some are much noisier than others, some are much quieter than the other. It just all depends on the machine. So if you are considering a specific washing machine, I would definitely go to the manufacturer's website and look to see how loud the machine is, how many decibels this machine puts out because it may drive you nuts and you may hate it and you may think, call up the service and saying, hey Blake, come on out and take a look at my washing machine, there's something wrong with it. And when I get out there and say, mm, nope, there's nothing wrong with it, this is the way the machine sounds. This is the way it's built. Definitely take that in consideration. It's a little bit of research on your part. I'm not sure if the salesperson can really help you with that. Uh, a servicer can help you a little bit, but noise is dependent upon 
the environment it's in. So that's something that you're gonna have to determine uh, on your own. And the last thing you really wanna look for when you're buying your washing machine, and by no means is this the least important, but this is actually really important, is the capacity of the wash machine and how much laundry this machine will handle. How much is this machine going to wash and how much can I put in this machine? Do I need to get a big machine because I, I just, you're empty nesters and you don't have much laundry or you have 10 kids in your house, you know, we are in Utah, it is possible, you know, but if you have that type, uh, you need a big capacity machine. So make sure that you always check the capacity, what it can safely wash and how much it can safely wash without overstuffing it or way underdoing it. So you're doing laundry all day long when you really don't need to be doing it all day long. Uh, you can definitely shorten your wash cycle down, make it easier upon yourself. Empty nesters or, or single, you don't need a big capacity machine unless you want to you know, save it for later on. Uh, you know, your plans are you know, getting married and stuff like that and you're going to save it for those many years. Well, then you might want to look at it that way. But other than that, look for the capacity that's right for you because that will have a price difference on the machine and what features you might want on this machine is how much the capacity because it's going to change. So I hope this has been helpful and gave you some ideas to what to be looking for when you're going out and shopping for a washing machine. If you have any questions or any comments, we'd be happy to answer them for you. Just please put them in the bottom and like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.